Hello everyone, this is Pata Nesterings here. Today we'll be looking at Shi Huang. Yeah, Shi Huang, one of the uh, not the not Shi but vessel of Shi Xie. Yeah. So basically this is uh, different uh, from the Shi Xie Shi. It, it is two different characters but the leading is almost the same but just two different characters and a bit of a difference in reading but anyways uh, for Shi Huang, Shi Huang he is actually getting the Sima Jiong's faction mechanic which is control and the unique buildings of judiciary for you know and lastly the captain retinues this will be uh, looking in the game because uh, for Captain Latinus, I think uh, Shi Huang will be getting the normal Captain Latinus instead of the uh, the the Captain Latinus that the Susia Gates. They eh, know the Sumatra Gates. And yeah, I think we'll be looking into our we'll be going into the game and have a look. Basically, you if you ever play Princess. The DLC itself, as you play through much young as I did, you might want to focus more on your captain revenues rather than more characters because control. If you maximize it, you'll be getting around what minus one hundred percent satisfaction issue again. So yeah, we'll go into game and I'll slowly talk about what you are expected to do as uh, Su Huang. And yeah, let, let's just get into the game and I'll talk from there. Alright. Alright. So we are in game. Yeah, so this is basically one of your Captain Red News. Uh, maybe we'll actually have a look at the next turn. Finally, your campaign actually has a, a next turn for minor factions. Oh, hold on a minute. Okay. So, territories. Territories wise, we start off with uh, Kao Liang, which is the full commentary of Kao Liang. Now, one thing good is you actually start off with a Salt work, so you have a steady. You have some income from industry, and unique buildings. wise you don't have any unique buildings apart from the judiciary, where if you build it, you can actually gain a five control. Yeah, plus five control. This is a per per commentary. So if you have like five comments for five and five, you have plus thirty five per turn. Now, for those who have played 8 Princess, I don't need to talk about this uh, but for those who haven't played before, if you look at the control at the lowest, which is Serval, you actually gain a minus 0.5% desire for high office, but you gain a minus 10% minus 10 public order for all commentaries and plus 35% corruption all commentaries. But if you reach automatically, you get a minus you get a minus 75% desire for high office. I thought it should be plus. Minus 10. Yeah, this, this is a. Uh, I think this is a bug. Uh, you definitely you get a plus 75% desire for high office because this is uh, what I've actually seen from uh, the A Princess DLC. And, but the thing, the good thing is you get a minus 25% corruption faction for commanderies and a minus 50% recruitment cost for the refuse, as well as a plus 10 public order for all commanderies. So, you want to make sure that you're always at the balance. It's not wrong to like just stay at minus 10% recruitment. Uh, you can always go for domineering, but never go into autocratic because by this time your uh, characters who gain like so many, they will be so mad they will eventually just leave you the moment you recruit them. 
Yeah. Even if you have a person who is at the highest position, like let's say your prime minister, your grand commander, and anything somewhere here, that autocratic could hit them like instantly. They'll just leave you in an instant. So make sure that you always secure yourself in a balance or dominating control. Now, situation wise, I think this is the only faction that I would suggest you to go after uh, Pan Ling, which is the Shan Yue. The reason why is because of all the vessels of Su Xie, only you and Shi this is a Shi Yi, and this is a, I always forgot his name. Damn. Let us have a look at the vessel. Yeah, Shi Wu. Only you and Shi Wu are both the closest faction to uh, be able to invade, invade uh, the Shan Yue tribes, which is Han Lin. So make use of your position. Help your vessel master Su Xie like, build a, a better stack and invade the Chang Wu region, which is actually quite good for you since it has a lot of. Uh, farming industry, go ahead, take them down. Once you are done, only then you can decide either you want to focus on Mu and Nanman or Sun Quan or eventually Liu Biao. It's up to you by then. So this is your early game dilemma. All you need to do as Shi Huang, Shi Huang is very easy, focus, put major focus on Hanyi and that's all. You don't have to worry about Su Xie and the gang or even Sun Quan, because even if Sun Quan declares for you, the most you have to worry is they send a ship down to sea, but most of the time they might go after Shu Wu first. And that is all for your early game dilemma. Now we'll be having a look at your, basically your characters. So you have four characters, which is Shu Huang, and you have uh, Lao, Lao Zhe or something. And you have uh, Huang Yi, and lastly, uh, Xi Xi Zilong, Xi Zilong, or something. Uh, so you have four characters, uh, quite a good amount of characters, uh, which is actually good for you know you don't need to tank that much of the economy. So your starting economy is like one k, so you can slowly up a steady force vape hunting and stuff so yeah i think that is all for your turn one of the introduction we'll be going for turn two to look at the captain rating use just for showing uh, most of the time uh, the mechanics and stuff if you ever played eight princes it is basically all this so nothing much so let me just put this for them to have some satisfaction first and we'll go to the next step. Alright, so we are now on turn 2. And if you actually notice, here you can see that Pan has already uh, reached this area. Now, we'll be taking this opportunity to have a look at uh, There is nothing in the stand, so we'll be having a look at uh, Much, 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 no, not not much <laughs> Alright, so let us look at the what we call captains Now here this is actually no difference between the cavalry captain, the archer captain, all these captains and the captains that you actually saw for Yuan Shao. Yeah, for Yuan Shao. So, these are the basic captain revenues that you can actually recruit for uh, who we call uh, Shi Huang. Make sure that you make full use of uh, the captain revenue if you had the chance because all of these are actually beneficial for you in the long run, especially if you accidentally made your way all to the way to autocratic. 
So there's nothing much to talk about this. Captain Retinue, to be honest. You already know them from the base game, especially for those who constantly play your child. So I think that is all that I can actually talk about for Shihua. It is basically a Sima Chiong campaign, but you are the vessel of someone. Uh, you need to play more on uh, it. Yeah, I would say this is a mix of Sima Chiong and Yuan Chao. So you need to maintain control over your uh, dominion. You need to make sure that you are balanced in terms terms of control, you need to make sure that everyone is satisfied with you and you need to make sure that you keep using your captain retinue so that you you won't like die in the first you you won't like all of the sudden once you finish your characters you'll be like what a uh, your your faction will go die or something you need to make sure that these are always used. So yeah I think that is all for this week. Next week or tomorrow, maybe we will be going for Shi Wu, the last uh, Shi Clan uh, vessel. So yeah, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one then. Bye!